in this video, <clears throat> we are going to look at neoplasm coding, Z codes, and endocrine system. So let's first start with the neoplasm table. Like I explained in a previous video, the neoplasm table has a separate table where you can look up neoplasms. So you go directly behind the index where it ends with Z. Z, and then the neoplasm table begins. So neoplasms can be benign or malignant. One thing I will point out is that within the regular diagnosis index or alphabetical index, there are morphology types of neoplasms. So when you hear a patient has a lipoma or adenocarcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma, you can look all those up here. So you should always, if you're coding a neoplasm, you should always look at the morphology first. So for example, let's just go to carcinoma. And once here, if you know the specific type, like Merkel cell and the location, like eyelid, it gives us the code right here. Many times you cannot find the specific type, the morphology, and the site. So we go here to the neoplasm table. Now the neoplasm table is arranged in columns. The first column is the anatomical site where that neoplasm is. And then up at the top, we have malignant primary, secondary, carcinoma in situ, benign, uncertain behavior, or unspecified behavior. So you pick the code based on what your documentation says. If you're coding a primary malignancy, you want the first column. If the malignancy has metastasized, we want the malignant secondary. Carcinoma in situ means that it's cancerous, however, it's still encapsulated, so that's what carcinoma in situ is. The documentation would have to let you know it's carcinoma in situ. Benign is non-cancerous, right? Benign uncertain behavior means that the physician hasn't made a determination if it's benign or cancerous, malignant. And then unspecified is when the physician didn't document if the neoplasm was malignant or benign. So for the most part, you're going to be coding from the first four columns. Typically, the physician will know if it's malignant or benign. So let's just practice. Let's say we have a 27-year-old patient who she came in with breast cancer of the right lower outer portion of the breast. So let's go through this one together. So we're going to go to our neoplasm table. Then we're going to, in our alphabetical list here, we're going to go to B to breast. So here's breast. And then it was the lower outer quadrant and it was primary. So we're given code C50.5. Again, we have the hyphen and another character is needed in that code. So again, you can't just stop here. You have to go to the tabular list to complete your code to verify it. So we're going to go to C50.5 in the tabular. C50.5. And it was her right breast, so we have C50.511. So that would be our code. You can see here we, we couldn't just take code C50.51 because it's telling us it needs another character, another digit. So we go to the indented ones and pick C50.511 because it was her right breast. Okay. Now next, we, we learned about endocrine system. So our patient also has morbid obesity. So I want you to try to find morbid obesity in the index, find the code, and then we'll share what that is. So go ahead and pause the video and look that up. So hopefully you guys came up with E66.01. E66.01, which again is morbid obesity. 
And to look that up, your main term is what you always look up in the alphabetical index. So our main term is obesity. Once we're at obesity, we would go to morbid, and it gives us the E66.01. Again, you would then verify it in the tabular, and that's the correct code. Next, our final uh, code for today is we have a 17-year-old who's coming in today for his sports physical for football. So that will be a Z code. Remember, when you're looking up Z codes, you go to the category more often than not of what that would fall under. So if a patient's coming in for a sports physical, we would call that an encounter. So in the front of your book, you're gonna go to the term encounter. Once here, you can see there's lots of different reasons for encounters, mental health, antenatal screening, administrative, breast reconstruction, chemotherapy, fertility, uh, plastic reconstructive surgery. Anyway, look over those. But ours, a sports physical, is considered administrative. And then we would go down to sports, and it gives us Z02.5. So now we're going to go verify that code, which is in the very back. Z02.5. And it says right here, encounter for examination for participation in sport. So that is the correct code. 